What is this thing these children's is playing is called the Minecraft? <laughs> Hey dude, it's John here and welcome to another how-to video and today's video is in shader. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install shaders properly. The downfall of me ever wanting to do this is that it requires a fairly fast PC or fairly, fairly strong computer to run most shaders. Most shaders out there require Optifine to run. And Optifine is a bit of a resource hog when it comes to your machine. So if you're running a bunch of mods or you're running a really big world, it may lag a lot. And if you have other people playing on, on with you, it may lag even more so. So I tend to do it on stronger machines. I just don't recommend it on older machines. That's a really big thing. We tried to install it on our, our laptop that Liam uses and it's probably eight years old and it just locks up. It doesn't even bother. It won't even think about it. It barely even works with mods for that matter. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install basically Optifine and a bunch of shaders. And then if you guys like this video, um, by, by smashing that like button down below, I know it's a sellout moment, but nonetheless, if you guys do that, I'll show you guys a few of the, uh, the shaders packs that don't require Optifine. It's a little tricky way of doing things. Not as good, but it's still something as opposed to nothing. Okay, anyway. So, another sellout moment. If you guys are at all new to this channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button down below and if you click the little bell, it turns on notifications and lets you do to do that to know when we upload our daily videos. All right, let's get on with it. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is things. You need things to put into folders because without these things and these folders, you have nothing. Anyway, so the first thing you need is, uh, well, you need Optifine whether you, you want it or not mind you this is also with forge so if you don't have forge installed you're, you're gonna need forge so download forge it's right there there's the link I'll put all the links to all the sites that i'm gonna use today i'm gonna put in the description section below make sure you follow these really carefully i haven't actually used shaders in a really long time only because they're kind of a pain in the butt and again, they're a resource hog and I like playing freely. I don't like things to lock up on me, but first thing you need is Forge and you're gonna need the latest version of Forge if you're gonna use 1.12. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna use 1.12 and then this is the latest version is 14.21.1.2426. Uh, okay, to download this, you basically click on the, uh, the Windows install or if you're using a Mac, use the other installer right here where it says installer. I'm going to click on Windows install, and it's going to take me to this big old page right here. It's going to have a countdown right here in the top right corner. Let it count down. Don't touch anything down here in the bottom. All this, this is garbage down here. It's poison for your machine. Don't touch it. Up here, now this button, this after it counted down, it says skip. And it's going to automatically download to the bottom left-hand corner if you're using Chrome. If you're using uh, Internet Explorer or Mozilla or anything else, it'll be in your downloads folder, so find it there. Then now you can go ahead and install Forge by simply double clicking that file. My computer says Windows protect, protected your PC. Windows Defender's smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Run this app. Running this app might put your PC at risk. Now, if you're uncomfortable with installing anything with these warnings, simply don't do it. I've installed these things literally thousands of times. I have zero problem installing Forge on my machine. And... I don't even have antivirus on this. How about that? I have just the Windows Defender that comes with the, the Windows software on here, and I'm very comfortable with installing this without any worry that this is going to damage my computer. So if you notice, I click the little link at the bottom there, and it instead of just saying don't run, it says run anyway. So it's gonna run, and it's gonna pop up this little Forge installer here. This checkbox is fine, install, install the client is fine, and then just click okay. I'm not gonna do it because I already have Forge installed, but you just click okay, and it'll say your installation has been completed. If it gives you a warning message, uh, oh, just make sure that Minecraft is shut down before you install it. Minecraft is running like it is right now. I'm gonna show, close that. Say okay after you close Minecraft. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna say cancel, you say okay. Now you, have, now you have Forge installed, you can close out that window. Now we need Optifine. Optifine, we need to download the file and then install. We want both versions, the install installation file and the file installed. So I want to click on downloads 
and it's going to take me to a bunch of different versions of Optifine to download. And I'm going to select the, the latest one here, download uh, number 1.12 UC4. I want that one. That's the latest version that they came out with. Again, it takes me to another ad fly window with another countdown on the top right hand corner. Wait for that to count down and click nothing on the bottom. It's all garbage and poison for your machine. Don't do it. Skip this ad in the top right hand corner. Then it's going to give me a bunch of other ads. Oh crap, where do I click? Right here in the very, very middle of the screen, it says download Optifine 1.12 HDUC4.jar. That's the only link you want to click on. All the rest of the stuff, it they're actually not terrible. They just take you to random games throughout the internet. They're not very good games, and they may put, uh, what do you call, adware on your machine. So I wouldn't click them just to be safe. So I'm going to click this download Optifine link right here that I, I'm going to circle it on the screen for you. And it's going to download again in the bottom left-hand corner. Now it's going to ask me, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Optifine.1.2? And I'm going to say keep because I'm, again, very, very familiar with the software and know that it's not going to hurt my machine. Okay, Optifine is downloading. Wait till it's done. And then I'm going to dra simply drag it to my desktop. Okay, again, I'm using Chrome, so it's on my bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to take it. I'm going to drag it to my desktop. If it's in your downloads folder, you can also just open up your downloads folder and drag it to your desktop. The only reason I'm putting stuff on my desktop is so I know where everything is. I'm going to keep everything together. If you want to create a folder and put everything in there, you may do so as well. That's all, that's all I need with this Optifine folder, uh, uh, web page, sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and close that one out. Now I have this right here. This is our shaders mod installer. It's basically what runs shaders in Optifine. Then we need an ASM. You'll see it's complicated, but not. It's just a bunch of files that you have to have on this web page. You're going to see a bunch of random crap to click on to download. Don't click most of it. You're going to go all the way down to the freaking well, almost the bottom. Bottom is a bunch of chat about well, it's not even at the bottom. I'm like, uh, you're going to go about fourth way down the page and you're going to see this link down here. There's going to be instructions on how to install it. They're a little fuzzy on the instructions, by the way, just saying it could be a little clearer on these. But if you scroll down here, it says download links for shaders mod. And again, I'm using version Minecraft 1.12. So I want to download this version here. This page right here is not the ad. This is an actual link to download. Again, Takes us to another ad fly window. This time it doesn't count down. It just simply downloads the full, the file in the bottom left hand corner. Again, it's asking me if I want to keep it. I'm going to say keep. And once it's finished downloading, I'm going to drag this one onto the desktop as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we have our shaders and our Optifine, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this ad fly window. And down here, or up here actually in the instructions, it also says, required asm 5.2 for minecraft 1.12 download here you can simply click that and it's going to open up a dropbox window which is i wish where everybody put their things because dropbox is a really safe place to store your things and it doesn't allow for things like ads and pop-ups so it just simply says download file right here it says install asm all one 5.2 for minecraft.jar that's the file we need i'm going to say download up here at the top right hand corner i'm going to say direct download when i click the drop down and it's going to download the file and it's going to ask me if i want to keep it again i'm going to say keep once it's finished downloading i'm going to drag this file again to my desktop so now we've done four files right forge optifine shaders and the install asm one more. Now we need an actual shaders pack. You can go back over here to uh, the shaders mods right here, and you can see Minecraft 1.2 shaders. And there are a buttload. You can go through and click a bunch, click through a bunch and find which one you like. I found one. I researched a few, and I found one that I like. This one right here called CUDA shaders, which I opened it, opened up over here on the left. And this is with a texture pack, obviously a resource pack. So it's not, the textures aren't changed, but the shader mod itself does take effect. So I seem to like this one. It seems to look okay uh, compared to a lot of them. It's a lot more stripped down, very, very basic. And I like that about 
uh, shaders. So if you scroll down to the very bottom here, you can see that it says newest version. Actually, it's not even bottom. It's like halfway down the page, I just realized. Because they have like all this, all the chat down here at the bottom. Anyway, so right below the instructions, right below where it's got a little video of it, and it's got instructions on how to install it, which again are a little fuzzy. Um, right here where it says newest version, you can click on CUDA shaders version 6.5.26, and it's going to pop up yet another freaking ad fly window. Don't click any of this crap on the bottom. It's really bad for your machine. It's bad for its health. And you guys will get mad at me because what'd you do, John? <laughs> Wait for it to say skip ad in the top right hand corner and only, only click skip ad like we did in the past. It's going to go ahead and download in my bottom left hand corner. Again, that's if you're using Chrome. If you're not using Chrome, it'll be in your downloads folder. So I'm going to take this file here, this CUDA file, and I'm going to drag it as well to my desktop. I've got a little clump of four little items there on my desktop. You'll also notice it did another pop-up. It says, Arc Central Software says, update recommended. It may say something entirely different. Whatever it says, don't click that. That is clickbait for you to get something garbage on your machine. Simply close that window. That easy. We're also done with this install ASM. Hey, Liam, how's it going, buddy? I I you can? Oh my I goodness. I Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and close this install ASM window as well. And I'm going to go ahead and close this CUDA shaders as well. The only thing I'm leaving open is this shaders mods uh, window only because if I don't like that particular mod, you can go back and maybe find another shaders mod that you may like. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that for the time being. All right. Things to install now. First thing you're going to want to install is after or second thing actually we already installed forge right you can install uh optifine so you can simply uh double click optifine and it's going to ask you would you like to install optifine it'll find the minecraft folder for you and you will simply say install i've already installed it so i'm not going to install it again i'm going to go ahead and just leave it like it is so we installed optifine right we can go ahead and push that aside because we've already done that now we're going to install this asm you can also double click that. Then it's gonna say, would you like to install this library, basically? I'm gonna say no. You're gonna say yes, because you need to install it. I've already installed it once again, so I'm gonna set it aside over here. You're gonna say yes, and it'll say completed, good to go. Now you got two things you have to put in the Minecraft folder. I'm gonna pull, pull these aside for a second. I'm gonna hit the Windows key and R, and I'm gonna type in this, uh, this string of words down here. Uh, it's the percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, backward slash dot Minecraft, backward slash, and I'm gonna say, okay. I'll also take that string, I'm gonna put it in the comment section, or I'm gonna put it in the description section below so you guys can copy and paste it directly into your run, for, uh, run file. Now it'll open up the Minecraft folder. You want two files or two folders within your Minecraft folder in order to make this work. First file you want is shaders packs. You're gonna to wanna to drag this file over into shaders packs. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just leave it on my desktop, but you would just drag it in there like it is. Unzipped, or just zipped up like it is right now, just leave it alone, and Minecraft will figure it out for you. Now we're gonna go back to our Minecraft folder, and we're gonna go into mods, and mods are right here. After you install Forge, the mods folder will automatically be there. If it's not there, you can create it yourself. So I already have, a buttload of mods in there that I'm using. I'm gonna drag this file here, the shaders mod, directly into this folder over here. So now we're good. Now we can close this out and simply run Minecraft and we can test this all out. If you run, now after you install uh, Optifine, you're gonna see that there's this version of Optifine that is installed as a run option. You're gonna wanna select that at this point, okay? And you're gonna select play. This is a 1.12 Optifine, hey, hey duck. And I'm going to click play. Now it's going to launch uh, launch Minecraft with Optifine running. I'm going to have some tea while this loads. I'm going to click on single player. I'm going to click on uh, random craft. I, actually, I just started it that I want to play some random Minecraft with a bunch of random mods. I'd like to put together my own uh, mod pack is what my goal is right now. Anyway, so I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go to options. 
and I'm gonna go to uh, video settings. In video settings, you're gonna have this new uh, new tab over here. I actually have a couple new tabs as well. You're gonna see the shaders tab. You're gonna click on shaders, and it's going to give you this option of the CUDA shader. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select CUDA shaders, and I'm gonna say done. So once it's highlighted, I'm gonna say done. I'm gonna say done again, and I'm gonna say back to game. And you're gonna notice everything looks pretty now, including the water, especially the water. I absolutely freaking love the water. And the water is nice and transparent. You can see, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, about 10 blocks down. Uh, is where you can see and the ground look at my shadow i got my my cape hold on got my cape blowing in the wind <laughs> and uh you're gonna you're gonna notice all the shadows from all the different plants and you can also notice the plants are moving from the wind that's really freaking cool to me and let's go ahead and let's grab some obsidian go ahead and oh that looks freaking cool and let's go ahead and jump in And I'm in the the, ne in the nether, and the nether looks pretty, freaking amazing. Look at this. Look at fire. Fire looks like. I don't know what that looks like. That is freaking cool. Oh, okay, now it, it just lit up. I think that was just messed up fire, is what it was. Fire looks amazing. Lava looks amazing. And things are burning. Dude, hey, Pigman, you're going to die. Anyways, dudes, that was a, a pretty simple, I think, explanation of uh, of Optifine and shaders. If you guys find a shaders pack that you like better than, than the Kuda one, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to check out uh, different packs. And if you guys are interested in the, the version I have uh, without Optifine and all these crazy installs, uh, let me know as well. I'd be happy to share that with you guys in the very near future. Anyways, dudes, I hope you guys did enjoy this. It's a lot of fun uh, putting stuff out like this and sharing it with you guys, making sure you guys understand how to do some of this really cool stuff that I think everybody should know in Minecraft. Anyways, if you guys, like I said before, if you guys did like this video, you guys give us a big fat thumbs up down below. And until next time, guys, see ya.